So today I'm going to be playing the best map on every single Call of Duty Zombies game from World of War all the way to Vanguard. So the way this video works is that I did a poll where you guys could vote on what the best map in every game was and those maps are the ones that I'll be playing in this video. Now even though I don't agree with some of the maps in these videos, I didn't want to catch any smoke alright, so if you do disagree with the maps, don't blame me alright, blame the people who voted on the polls. So on that note, I want you guys to start up a comment right now and on every game I want you to tell me if you agree with the map I play or if you disagree with the map I play and what should have been there instead. We're also getting really close to 20,000 subscribers and as I've mentioned in other videos, if we do hit this before the end of the month, I'll do a big live stream that will most likely involve you guys. So if you guys do want to see that, subscribe to the channel. But yeah, enough of the intro, let's jump right into our first game, which is World at War. Alright boys, so with our first game, World at War, the map you guys voted was Doris. I mean, obviously Doris was going to win the poll for what is the best World at War map, right? With 80% of the vote. I'm not really surprised about this one and to be honest, I have to just agree because like, Doris is the one map that kind of like holds up in a way, right? It's got pack of it's got perks, you know, like it's been basically the same as Kino. So yeah, I'm not super surprised this map uh, won, to be honest. So, so getting to round 10, it shouldn't be too bad because again, like Therese is a, a relatively good map. If you guys don't know how these videos work on this channel, basically I do a poll where I ask you guys just to make sure that I don't catch any flack what the best or worst zombie map is on every single Call of Duty zombie game. And whatever you guys vote for, I play. <coughs> wow, it sounds like a smoker, bro, my voice. I've never even touched a cigarette in my life. Uh, but yeah, basically we just go through the games. I give my opinion on if I agree or disagree with the list. Uh, you guys give your opinion if you guys agree or disagree with the list in the comments. And you know, we get to round 10 and we just have a good time. So actually the most scuffed intro for World of War, but whatever. I know there is actually quite a few people who will probably disagree that this is the best World of War map because a, a lot of people do actually like Shinonuma. And actually, I'll say that, but while I'm looking at his list, like Shinonuma only got 6% of the votes. Pretty much everyone just voted Doris because like, why, why wouldn't they? But, all right, honestly, I thought this worked for so long, right? Like throwing your grenades in there and it upgraded them. I, I genuinely thought it was a legit thing, honestly. And I, I seem like a bit of a goofball now when I think about it, but like, you know, I got the misinformation spread to me and I started spreading it, you know, like I actually got baited. And I wasn't even like a little kid with it either. I was like nearly a fully grown man. Like it was, it's low-key kind of embarrassing. I ain't even gonna lie, but right, we're going to round four already. We're speeding, bro. Alright, we're here, boys. We're at the power. So let's go ahead and turn that on. There we go. And you know, we'll take a hit at the box. We'll see what we get. Imagine something actually epic, bro. We got the flamethrower. A world at war unique weapon right here. This has never come back, I don't think. Outside of like dead ops. All the BO4 specialists, but we don't talk about that. Come on, I'm about to burn you guys up, about to mess you guys up, bro. Look how strong this is. But the flamethrower is so shit. I can't even lie. <laughs> like technically it's infinite damage. But like, bro, honestly. So who's using this outside of like outside of like nectar and toys? Even infinite damage. I don't even know. Because it's got infinite ammo. Right, let's go ahead and hit the box again. See what we get. And we got the browning. I don't know what it is about me getting the browning in videos now whenever I play World of War, but it, it's too often, bro. I got it my one box challenge, got my two box challenge, I got it here. Getting outrageous, bro. I don't really want it either. It's too slow. Right, and we got the M1A1 car, but I don't even know why I trade that out. Oh, okay, we got a dog round. It's a little bit spooky. I ain't gonna lie, because my guns are low-key kind of dookie. Oh, so this is you know spooky, but because my guns are dookie, you know, I'm rhyming out here me Eminem. All right, all right, I think we can make it. I think we can do it, right? I'm going to hit the box as well, just in case I get a better weapon. And we got the, the M1 grand. Are you actually playing with me, bro? Oh my God. All right, bro. We're about to go in. Yo, this dog's about to get messed up. What? Oh my God, bro. How did I not kill him? Oh my God. Oh my God. Die, 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 die. Oh my God. Die, bro. Bro, get lost, bro. Get lost. Oh my God, bro. is not playing around. Bro, actually, it was spooky, bro. I'm not going to lie. But either way, we're going on to round six. Actually, speeding through the reese, honestly. See, I remember back on the Xbox 360 days, right? Being able to mod World at War was like dummy easy, bro, right? But when I was like, bro, I don't even know how old I was. Probably like 40. I thought that I was like, I, I thought I was a shit bro with my hacking software, right? Like I used to play in my room my hood up, right? Thinking that like the FBI was watching me, you know, I was on the watch list. But yeah, I used to play the Reese and I used to go into like public matches with these mods. And I used to think I was real cool, bro. Because you used to be able to like, it was like, dude, the mods on the Reese, right? Were just like, they were actually so good. I don't know what it was. Like they used to have like the best like sky bases and everything. I don't know if you guys remember that, but yeah, like the Reese mods back in the day, they hit different. Oh, bro, what is this? Okay, I guess I can go buy Jug. Give me a Jug. Yeah, there you are. Give me that. Give me that boy. I mean, there you go. I feel real powerful for now, so. Oh, the box is up there. Are you serious? Oh my god, dude. He's on me to messing me up. Put back on my grenade launcher attachment. They're not even going to see it coming. Oh, look at that, bro. Look how strong I am. Oh my god. Right, there you go. Right, we're on to, uh, is that round eight? Yes, right. I can count. Right, I'm going to switch out this, uh, M1 gram for the Thompson because, you know, the Thompson will just have to do. I'm pretty sure this is, like, one of the best weapons in World of War. Right, we can start doing the teleporters. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to actually get Pack a Punch, but it's will open it, you know. I have the illusion that I did it. There's a lot of zombies on. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, not even phasing me, bro. I just run past them. Uh. There we go. I get a lot of shit, uh, for Telling my opinion on zombies, you know, you know, that's all it was was just an opinion. But I don't like World of War, and I don't really like BO1. I spoke about it quite a lot. I just don't think the games are that good compared to like BO3, BO4, BO2, even. Yeah, you know, keeping on the topic of World of War, it's just like the most outdated system, bro. Like hit detection's buggy. Like the weapons are a bit dookie. And you know, like on Doris, it's got the Wonder Wolf glitch. Like Logi, it's just kind of a bit of an L game. But whenever I talk about World of War and I like talk about it, it's always like, no, 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 this is the birthplace of zombies. You can't talk about about Nectar and Toad or World of
I'm like, bro, like, why? <laughs> oh, bro, I'm gonna burn up this dog. Yo, get out of here, bro. But I mean, pretty much, that is round 10. I feel like I should be going higher than round 10 because actually, you know what? Round 10 will do. We've got a lot of games to get through. So, you know, I've got to start making a move through those. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for World of War. The Reese was the best map in this game. That's what you guys voted. So, you know, again, don't don't hate on me, please. This is not my opinion. Even though, well, this is kind of my opinion. But I, I'd personally say the Reese is the best map on World of War. But, you know, like, I didn't pick it because of that reason, right? You guys picked it, right? So, either way, we'll jump onto our next game, which is Black Ops 1. All right, then, boys. So, on to Black Ops 1. Now, the map that you guys picked, I don't know if it's a meme or not, right? Or if you guys were being serious, but the map that you guys picked was Kino the Totem, right? With 55% of the votes. Now, boys, I can only play what you guys vote for, right? But I hard disagree with this as to being the best Black Ops 1 map. Not even a chance, bro. This map is boring, bro. This is a casual's dream, bro. Like, this map sucks, bro, for people who actually, like, know how to play the game. I guess it is, like, the most iconic map, though, on this game. I won't lie. Like, bro, when you think of Black Ops 1, you don't think of, like, Ascension or Call of the Dead. You just think of Kino the Totem. Everyone knows the Kino the Totem. I can't even lie, but I don't know, bro. But best map in BO1? Dude, you got me messed up with that one. I ain't gonna lie. That's gonna have me dreaming. Call of the Dead was the second most voted map with 27%, but then again, I wouldn't even agree with that. I just don't really like any of the maps in BO1. So, to be honest, I don't even have an opinion on this, bro. I'm just gonna play what you guys want. Well, either way, we can go ahead and buy ourselves Quick Revive now because it actually works in this game. And we're already going on to round three. Speed running, boys. Speed running. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this all here. Like, you know what? Why the PM63? I barely ever use these guns. One thing about Kino as a totem, right, is I feel like if you don't go up that way and you go down that way, you're like an actual sociopath. Like, bro, like, bro, you got something wrong with you if you choose to go down that way. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. All right, let's be real. Like, this is the only real way. And that's not even like an opinion. That's a fact, bro. Look, there's the box, bro. Like, always spawns on the side. I guarantee it, bro. Where are these zombies, bro? Why are they gonna be so slow? Like, there we go. Like, why was he not just like respawning? From what I've heard, the spawns on plutonium are actually shocking, bro. So, all right, build 2,000 points. I wanna get a hit at the box, right? Because if we get the Thunder Gun, that's actually gonna be so hype. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, let's go ahead and take us a hit at the box. So, you says PM63 already kind of dying off. And we got the. Bro, you are actually playing, bro. Every time, all right? I need to get myself a good weapon out of the box. I get something like Dookie, like the ballistic knife. Actually, getting me grumpy, but why is this zombie spawning all the way up here? Like, what is the need? I run to round five. I feel like we're gonna have a dog round coming up soon. I need these ballistic knives are already a two shot. That's mad. And you know what? If I do that, some like crazy or like shooting while I knife uh, tactics, all right? It's actually not that bad. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, bro. Clutch out. Oh, bro, bro. Oh, I hate BO1, bro. I actually hate it. Never just have a fun time on BO1. Like, right, you know what? I'm done with this, all right? I'm hitting the box, all right? I'm about to give me the Thunder Gun. Watch this. Okay, the Galil. Let's go, bro. All right, we're going on to round six. So I'm going to open up this door here. Go down here. Activate as the link to the telepads. So I actually want to try and pack a bunch of something. So, oh, bro. Okay, here's the dog round. But isn't this what Kino writes? Is this little trick right where I think if you just like, you just like sit up here. Basically, okay, well, this, this guy just ain't here. Oh my god, bro. I forgot I ain't got quick revive either. Okay, I actually need to not play around with that. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. There we go, right? Oh my god. Bro, why can't I do it, right? Why am I struggling? Okay, I was getting trolled. But basically, if you like sit here, like in like the right spot, the dogs just won't go for you. They'll go like over there. Here you go. Clean, bro. That was scary. All right, let's go over here and buy me some jug. It's all bad boy in me. Oh, like, not in a gay way, though. All right, don't, don't, guys, don't pay attention to the, the type of language I'm using. But all right, go in, boys. We've got this insta kill here. Go buy, boys. Ain't even gonna know what hit him. I wanna try and pack a punch, to be honest. So I'm gonna try and get as many points as I can. Oh my god, I don't wanna die either, though. All right, we got 3,000 points pretty much through that insta kill. That's not too bad. Oh, I'm already going to round nine. But we actually kind of speed running through this. I ain't even gonna lie, but why is Rex Hopper moaning down my mic? But all right, we got 5,000 points. I'm outie, bro. I'm pack a punch. I'm making it a tent. Alright, let's pack up these PM63 just for the shits and giggles. So, look about like Tokyo and Rose. There we go. Also, you can kind of just like do this. I don't know. It's weird, but toss some grenades down there, you know? But basically, what you can do is you can throw grenades on there and just buy more grenades here. It's like keep going to town, but there's actually like no zombies down there. Oh, and we're back. Okay. Oh, dude, PM63 is going crazy, bro. Look at that. Alright, well, that is round 10. Did manage to get ourselves a bunch of weapon, which is kind of hype. Overall, um, I don't think Kino just Hoenn is the best map in BL1. I think I'd personally probably give it to. I don't know, bro. They're all kind of just cheeks, to be honest. Maybe like maybe ascension i think i like ascension the most even though it's like really easy but again like honestly i wouldn't even put to honest, i wouldn't really play any of the bo one maps over like any other map to be honest so yeah, i disagree with this you know what you guys think in the comments where i start a little tally chain like last time but right, well, other than that we'll move over to our next game which is black ops 2 zombies right then boys so on to black ops 2 now we have origins with 59 percent of the votes pretty much the only two maps to consider when it comes to the best map in black ops 2 is origins and mob of the dead all right i'm not too sure which one i'd personally pick I think I'm probably going to hand it to maybe Mob of the Dead because I kind of go through stages, right? Like, I'll play a lot of Mob of the Dead and then Origins becomes my favourite. And then if I play a lot of Origins, like, Black, uh, Mob of the Dead will become my favourite. So, I just kind of wish everyone I'm not playing the most. Sorry, right? or like, too overly, like, saturated of, I guess is the word. Hold on, that big boy words, bro. I think I'm a genius, bro. It could be Stephen Hawkins, but not, like, a lot retarded. Anyone that votes Die Rise or Transit as the best map in
in the comments saying that Transit is the best map in BO2. Like, you're telling me Transit is better than this and Mobile Dead, you're lying. Let's get me all of these big bad boy points, all right? We're going on to round three. All right, let's see if we can activate this generator without dying. Because if I can, get myself the box. Let's see what we get. There we go. So, okay, let's try and not die here. We're going to have to do a little juke around the zombie, you know? Each of my less. I got the monkey bomb. Are you actually serious, bro? I've got to hit it again. Right, I've got to hit it again. Try another monkey bomb just in preparation. And we got the. Are you. Bro, what is my look, bro? Ain't no one getting excited over the cap 40, bro. All right, one more hit of the box, bro. And I'm moving. I'm not messing around with this thing, but we're going to get the. Bro, okay, all right, bro. Actually, the FAL, that like, you're actually playing me right now. We got an ice tent. We got a choked, bro. Ice stuff piece. You died, bro, talking about that. Guys, teach my lesson with this. Uh, FAL, bro. Remember, it used to be called the FN foul. I guess it's called that in BO1, but change just the FAL. It's just in, like, a bit, of a, a bit of a dead name, to be honest. But a lot of people don't know there's a cipher behind here. Hey, it's just like a black square on the floor, but like, there it is, bro. Hey, bro, it's round five. Samantha won't shut up, bro. Like, no, Samantha, no one cares, bro. Right, so I'm going to no man's land. Means you will get a panzer. I actually need to get set up for this panzer, bro. Like, me and an FAL against the panzer. Bro, I'm actually going to die. All right, let's activate this uh, generator four. Oh, and there we go. So if I get 500 more points, I can uh, buy myself jug. Yeah, there's 25 extra points. I remember, right, right, back in the day, right, if you didn't have five points at the end of your points, like, you, you weren't the cool kid, all right? You were just an L little geek, all right? All right, let's go ahead and buy me jug. Is that max ammo? Okay, give me that, bro. I'm outie. All right, catch up with me, zombies. You guys are too slow, little boys. I'm doing what EDP should have done, bro, is run away from all these little kids. Yo, back on my way, bro. Back on my way. Uh, I think I'm going to get the MP40 just so, like, you know, when the panda does spawn, I've got at least something to defend myself with. There you go, right, round seven. I'm making it, boys. I'm making it out of these ends. Oh, get out of my way, zombies. All right, so, is there anything else I want to do before the panda spawns in? Oh my god, let's just try not and die first. That would be a good, that'd be a good start, bro. Yo, monkey bum, get out of here, bro. Go, 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 go. Take him away, bro. Take him away. Yo, big max ammo, bro. Hold on. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh my god, bro. Game reload the fucking MP40, bro. I swear no. Game heats me at all points in time. All right, let's activate this uh, generator. Because now I get a choice, right? Do I want to try and go for the Wonder Fizz or do I want to go for stamina? What's the chance that I get double tap? It's gonna be so, you know what? Take those chances, right? I take those chances, bro. What am I getting? What am I getting? What am I getting? Electric cherry, fuck. All right, one more time. One more time, right? One more time for the homie DJ screw, right? Come on, please. Come on. Bro, are you actually gonna be messed up, bro? You're gonna be messed up with PhD flopper, bro. Trying to catch me right in dirty. All right, well, here comes the Panzer. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, lands on me, bro. Yo, step back, bro. Okay, go off this little monkey bomb. You silly little ape. Does he play like the rules? He don't play by the rules, bro. Okay, that's right. Get out of here, bro. You get messed up. You get messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, bro. Get back up, back up, back up. Oh, we got him. That was easy, bro. What the fuck? Why was I even threatening over that? Oh, goofball didn't even stand a chance. This map, right? Like, it pretty much introduced or like popularized the rainbow perk challenge. I really do want to make a video on the rainbow perk challenge, but bro, I'm actually too stupid to remember where all the red dig sites are. Like, I just cannot do it. I'd have to like actually write them out in front of me to like remember where they are. All right, well, this is our last round, anyways. This FAL actually is dookie, bro. I mean, while it's only round nine, I might as well give like my final thoughts on uh, on the origins. Yeah, like it is definitely probably one of the better BO2 maps. Like, it is probably the best BO2 map. I kind of like, I mean, kind of depends on who you are. Like, right, if you just want to like have a map that like gives you a really good wonder weapon, like has a really good layout, it's like quite difficult. I think Origins is like definitely the map. But if you want like a very like story driven map that is like kind of like, has really good atmosphere as well, then like, bro, Mob of the Dead is definitely the map. Because that is the one thing Mob of the Dead will always have over Origins is the atmosphere. I don't know. The World War II atmosphere just doesn't kind of like, it just doesn't do it, all right? But being in like Alcatraz prison, bro, like, wait, is it World War II? We're in World War One in this game. Oh, in Origins, I forgot about that. But you know what I mean, right? Like, compared to Alcatraz prison, right? Like, it'll never be the same. So I think, like, personally, I'd probably, I don't know. I think I've Mob of the Dead and Origins kind of equal, to be honest. They both have, like, very good traits. So, yeah, I mean, that is Black Ops 2. Uh, let me know if you guys agree with it or not on the little list that we have. No, yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and jump over to our first non Treyarch game, actually, which is Advanced Warfare. Right, boys, so on to Advanced Warfare. Uh, the map that you guys picked was Carrier. They had 48% of the votes, right? Now, one end of me wants to agree with it because this is definitely one of the better maps in this game, but I feel like Outbreak is just so simple. Like, I feel like I have to give it the Outbreak still, but yeah, Carrier is a very good map. I won't lie. Like, obviously, it's Exo Zombies, so it's never going to be like fantastic, but all Exo Zombies, like, Carrier is probably like the second best map in my opinion, but that's only because Carrier has the shooting guys, which gets really annoying. And if you don't deal with them, uh, they just like gas out the whole area. I think they're back in like 1943. So yeah, I'd give it the outbreak personally, but let me know what you guys would think. You know, let me know if you agree or disagree with the uh, list that we're making, but let's make a move, all right? So what is nice about this, right, is the box always spawns in the same location for like the start. So I can pretty much go and get myself a box. Oh, like I hit the box straight away. All right, so let's go ahead and take a hit at the box. See what we get. We got the IMR. Also, we have the Palinko board, bro. Let me get some Palinkos in here. Need some free points, you know? And here we'll get 100 credits, bro. Yo, that's right, I'm rich. All right, we hit it again. We got the AK-12. Apparently, the IMR actually regenerates ammo. I don't know how true this is. It does. Someone told me about it on my uh, two box challenge. So I got the IMR. Now, I thought it was dookie, but no, it actually does like regenerate your, your ammo back. It's actually pretty crazy. I won't lie. To be honest, I'd be lucky if 
believe I even made it to the exo suit by round 10, all right? Because the doors in this map, they cost so much. Look, look at this door, right? 1,750. Are you mad, bro? I'm not rich. Don't call, don't call me Elon Musk, bro. Like, I ain't just building flamethrowers for the fun of it. Actually, ridiculous, bro. But, all right, we're coming up onto round five already, bro. I'm still in the box here. I've only got one door. All right, one more kill and we can get out of here, all right? There we go. I'm going to activate this generator. And if we come up here, we have to open up another door. How much is it? It is 2,000. Bro, who does this game actually think I am? Wait, where'd that drone just go? There's a drone down here. Where's it gone? Oh, drone, where you going, bro? Where'd he go? Actually, vanished. He said, I'm not like, I don't want anything to do with you, bro. I just have really good memories of this map. Like, Exo Zombies in my head was a lot better than, like, it actually is. Like, pretty much when I went and did all the Easter eggs and made a video out of it, I just, like, didn't realize how bad and annoying Exo Zombies really was. It's like, in my mind, I had such a good, like, reputation of it. And I was like, well, why is this so, like, disliked? And then I replayed it all and I now understand why it was so disliked. <laughs> now, Carrier is one of those maps that is, like, it's actually really fun. So, all right, we got ourselves our Exo suit now. So, the fly around. Okay, I'm gonna try and not die while I'm here. Jesus, bro. Back off. Yo, actually, I want to buy one of these bad boys, right? The teleport grenades. These things are so fun to use. I won't even lie. Throw some stuff into the Plinko board. This Plinko board is also some really fun addition to the map. I won't lie. Like, I don't think there's uh, been a zombie map that's done something like this. Or at least, like, this was, like, the first time. Oh my god, okay, we're about to die, but you know what, boys? Watch this. Teleport. Oh, how do I use it? A teleport grenade out of here, bro. Actually, I'm, like, a massive fan of that, but let's go ahead and hit the box again. We're gonna get the, the Kelly, is it? Oh my god. Oh, no. What? How did I die? How did I actually die there? I mean, I guess we'll retry it. I feel a bit harsh just like dropping it on round six. Literally six minutes. Maybe the teleport grenade wasn't the shout like I thought it was. All right, get out of here, zombies. All right, I want to move my way back to my exo suit. Dude, even the Easter egg for this is actually like still pretty fun. There's, a, there's one step right, bro. Pretty much you gotta like guide yourself through a laser like maze. And it's like quite challenging, but it's actually like really fun at the same time. Like I feel like Advanced Warfare really could have been better for its zombie mode, but it just made some really stupid choices like the EMZs. Like I ain't being funny, but the zombies already hit hard enough and they just swarm you. So like last thing I need is my one and only source of movement can taken away from me. Right, this time I'm making sure I don't die right. We're buying ourselves exomedic. It's something gonna be differently, bro. Yo, watch me make this jump. Watch me make this jump, bro. Yeah, I was actually too squeaky, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, but I want this little shitty uh rocket assault drone. Right, let's start making our way out. I don't know. Oh my god, I ain't gonna be able to break that. It's fine. Don't know if I just want to go straight for the exosuits or if I want to like get myself a weapon. Let's see if this gets us anything good. No, 100 credits, and we're gonna get another 100 credits. Okay. Right, we're gonna go ahead and hit the box because yeah, I don't really feel like messing around with it. But the battle 27. Never I like think about this gun, I just think of Merc music. It's Battle 27 song. We got our dog round again. <laughs> our one dog round in the entire game of zombies. I'm like pretty sure, right, that you only ever get one dog round and that's just it. Oh my god, we got 400 credits for that one. 500 credits? Yo, I'm making my way up in the world. We got loads of points. Honestly, I can think I can make it to some exosuit, actually. I'm gonna uh, go do that and make my way over there. There you go, activate that. Think about exosuit. Also, this drop here is literally just robbed from Mario, bro. Like, that's crazy that, like, they just stole this. Like, you know what they were doing, right, when they made the icon a star. I'm gonna rebuild back these teleport grenades, right? They didn't do me the, uh, justice. Yeah, I, I believe in them, Alright, this isn't off there. But I also want to do it because if I go over here and I activate this trap, you can throw a teleport grenade in this room here. You can activate this generator, right? It's for the Easter egg, but what it does, right, is it opens up my homie right here with our weapon disposal machine. Look at him, he's asking for the weapon. I'm gonna give it him. Yeah, bro, take a weapon, bro. Take a weapon. It's gonna give me 200 credits. What a king, bro. Spent a thousand to get it. 200 credits back. Investments, boys. You guys wouldn't even know what that is. I'm gonna hit it again. What we get? The Ameli? Bro, it's bringing back some bad memories. We just had that. We died. Right, I want to hit it again because I actually want like a decent weapon. The EM1. Are you actually playing with me right now? Yo, he you go, bro. You can have this. Yo, feel free, bro. Is he gonna give us the vodka ball? Okay, that makes us drink. That's for a step of the Easter egg. We're open fire, bro. We're going in. Also, this thing becomes a uh, a shotgun, actually. It's very cool. Hit it one more time. Oh, dude, the M1 irons. Dude, these guns are really cool. Like, they're kind of an L because, like, they're not very strong, but they're actually really cool. Where we getting? Where we getting? 750. Yo, that's hype. Where are these zombies? They're actually taking so long. Yeah, dear. What are you doing down there, bro? Is that round? I don't even know. But either way, let's make our way over here. Oh, I think we might have an infected round coming up soon, actually. That's why I need to make my way into this area, which is the moon pool. It's all decontamination zone right here. Oh, here we go, right? Bomb detected in cargo. This is just one of the worst features of this map, right? Wait, how much is this dog gonna cost? Two grand? Are you serious? Oh, well, I guess that goes all my points. Yeah, pretty much right. You gotta play, like, search and destroy. Take out all of the big bad boys, and you gotta, uh, defuse a bomb. Like, it isn't too hard, but at the same time, it's just annoying, because, like, why why they gotta add features like that into the map? That's the way I think I like Outbreak more, because at least Outbreak is just very simple. Like, right, you get the decontamination round, you get the dog rounds, and you just have normal zombie rounds. There's no, like, gimmicks with real people. There's no, like, Burger Town infected survivor rounds or anything like that or just cutting off random parts of the map. It's just so, like, simple. What was actually the second most voted map on that poll? Oh, my God. Oh, bro, what are you doing? I'll have a look at that if I can. Uh, the second most was, out uh, was Outbreak. So, I think the only reason Outbreak didn't win, though, is because it's kind of, like, basic. Because these carrier kind of, like, it's, like, a bigger map. Like, there's more to it, I guess. But it did add these stupid fucking little teleporting zombies around as well. Like, who thought that was a good idea? So, I'm actually very low on ammo, I just realized. I am actually out of ammo. Okay. Yo, call my drone, bro. Call my drone. Use a te
destiny or something. Yeah, I think that is round 10, boys. We actually managed to, uh, to you know, make a move, boys. We actually did it. Only took two attempts, but yeah, that's going to be it for Advanced Warfare. I don't think I'll be touching this game again anytime soon. So actually, I'll say that, but I kind of need to for a video I've got planned, but whatever, you know, ignore that. So I guess other than that, let's just go ahead and make our way onto our next game, which is Black Ops 3. Right then, boys, so on to Black Ops 3. Now, boys, this poll must have been rigged, all right? Because I don't know how the Rising Drag went, all right? Everyone knows that Shadows of Evil is the best map in Black Ops 3, all right? I don't know how it only got 31% of the votes and the Rising Drag got 59% of the votes, but, but something went awry, okay? Like, we all know Shadows of Evil is the best, all right? Shut up. Uh, but no, like, in, on a serious note, like, the Rising Drag, it is a good map. I, I just have overplayed it to the point where, like, I just don't really enjoy it as much anymore. Uh, and Shadows is my personal favorite, so yeah, it is what it is, boys. But yeah, the Rising Drag, I don't know if you guys agree with it. I feel like a lot of people probably will, because it is basically just like Origins 2.0, but with the Black Ops 3 engine. So yeah, I do understand why a lot of people would like it. I'm personally, again, I prefer Shadows of Evil. You know, that's my favorite map, but you know what? It is what it is, boys. All right. Again, I don't do what I like, all right? I'll do what you guys want. But yeah, as I said, like, I've just played this map way too much. Like, I know that it's a good map, but dude, I just like, I think it was that wait between like the Rising Drag and Gora Krovi. Like, that stuff wasn't really cutting it for most people. Obviously, it was glitchy and not all those glitches have been patched. You know, it, it, it's not a bad map, but even just looking at it from like its gameplay, it's just like you gotta like put in time for that somewhere, right? And Derizon Drag, you can kind of just like cruise through it, if that makes sense. But yeah, that wait between Derizon Drag and Goro Kovi was like, right, it was a lot, especially when I was on Xbox, all right? And your friends only wanted to play on Derizon Drag. They didn't want to play any of the other maps. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to try and go for the bow or not. Like, obviously, not go for like a greater bow, but maybe just go for like the base one. I might, I might go for it. This is pretty much like the whole reason why I'm not like a massive fan of Derizon Drag anymore. It's because it's this, right? Getting the bow, you literally come out here round three and you just have to start training and slowly filling up those dragons. It's just the same thing over and over and over again. Remember, I tried to go for around 100 on this. And I kept dying like around 70 ish. I don't know what it was. I just couldn't ever understand the panzer. But yeah, I think that's what fully burnt me out on the Rising Drag. I mean, just to redo it and then doing the same strategy over and over again, trying to get like around 100. It just like, bro, it was not it. I think now that I've taken time though to like not play this map as much, I, I can kind of come back to it and enjoy it a bit more. It's more enjoyable with friends, definitely, without a doubt. Play on your own is just a miserable experience now. I need more points. There you go. Right, we're going to round four. Finally, it took ages, bro. Right, we can fight on the power. There we go. Yeah, out, bro. Right, here's our next dragon we're gonna fill up. Might as well get the bow, you know, you know. Come on, dragon, fill up. Come on now. Taking his fucking time, you know. Obviously, I shit on Cold War a lot, but the, the Rising Drag Dragon in Outbreak is a lot more easier to fill up because he kind of just takes a lot of, like, zombies at once. And, like, I really wish that that was the case here. Like, you could train him up and then just kill them all, and then he'll just, like, take them all in. It just speed it up so much more, and I think that would be such a quality of life change. Can someone make a mod for that, bro? I actually beg. I'd run that mod every time I played Rising Drag. Okay, the anti grav. The anti grav is so fun as well, actually. Hopefully, we can fill up this dragon with just these last few zombies. So I think it's going to be a dog round next round. All right, is this zombie going to fill him up, maybe? I don't know. We're about to find out. And it was. Oh my god, we could. Let's go. There you go, boys. We finally got the boat. You know, do I want to just upgrade it? How long will it take to upgrade? I don't know. Probably before round 10. You know what? I'm going for it. You guys can't stop me, alright? I'm a little bad boy like that. Give me this, mate. So now we got to start shooting the things outside the map. Oh my god, I don't want to die, bro. I won't lie, though. Some of them are actually just so annoying to hit. Like, this one here can be such a pain in the ass, but let's see if we can get it. Yep, there we go. I managed to get it. So there is a little skip, right, that you can do for this step. Basically, if you, like, come down here, like, align your shot, like, there, you just do, like, a little, like, baby shot. It should hit. Yeah, there you go. Look, it hit it. Crazy little skip, all right? See, I do like maps when they have, like, skips and stuff like that, but, like, you know, obviously the steps themselves aren't hard, but it just has a little skip that just makes it, like, easy. Easier, I guess. I was gonna kill this guy. I can't be asked to deal with him. All right, there we go. All right, anti-grav is on. Let's go ahead and start wall running. I'm gonna have to hit all of these little symbols. So we've hit one. There's the second one. Make this little turn here. There's the third one. It is the fourth one. And this will be the last one here. So there we go. There's all five. Let's get out of here, boys. All right, let's go ahead and start filling up this uh, urn thing with souls. I don't know how many it takes. I don't think it's that many. There you go. Look, we already have it. So start making our way over here. And obviously, bro, I sometimes miss this. And it's like the easiest shot in the world, bro. Am I gonna miss it? Yo, I didn't, bro. I'm actually a pro, dude. I wasn't even worried about it. Let's get out of here. Here's our second urn. Let's start filling up this little bad boy. See, like the quest to get the upgraded bows and stuff like that, it's not that, like tedious, which I think is the one thing that's good. Like compared to like Zetsubo, right? Where Zetsubo, you gotta like plan it out, right? Getting these upgrade, like the upgraded uh, KT4. On this, it's just something you can just kind of casually do. I think that's why the replayability of Dorizen Drag is so much higher than Zetsubo no Shima. All right, let's see if we can hit this shot. This shot sucks to hit, bro. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it, but this is the only way I know how to do it, and it takes me actually forever. All right, is that one gonna hit it? Come on. Well, there we go. We actually managed to get it. And we're only on round seven, which means as long as I don't mess up this final shot down here, we're moving, bro. All right, let's get out of here, boys. So this is our last one. Let's see if we hit it. Yeah, there we go, boys. Actually too easy. All right, so I just need to interact here. And that should start to repair my arrow. I don't know where it's at. There it is. Okay, so pick that up. And we're on to the final stage of getting me the upgraded bow. And as soon as I get it, I'm pretty much going to have to quit off the game. So, you know,
world. I was itching, bro. He's got a little bit itchy and zombies just like, like that was a time to swarm me, bro. You know, I'm actually pretty sure the death machine was added in this map. And um, even though it's on shadows, it wasn't added to shadows until after this, I'm pretty sure. I remember that because the death machine back in the day used to have an ammo counter. And I used to make it my mission, bro, to get that down to zero. Like there'd be no zombies and I'll just be sitting here like this. Like, bro, just straight up shooting into the sky. It is like a secret BRM Easter egg. Like you can make a BRM wall by. Bro, it's actually the most like weird, like useless Easter egg because no one ever uses the BRM. Bro, if you're gonna use an LMG, just use like the dingo. No, ain't nobody running the BRM, bro. Right, there you go. That's our upgraded bow. So let's go ahead and put our shitty bow in there. And let's pick it up. Oh my god, I don't wanna die, bro. There we go. We've got ourselves the upgraded bow. So let's just pop off on these zombies. This is literally like the best bow in the game. I can't even lie. Like aesthetically, I think the fire bow is better, but like in terms of just like damage, bro, like I gotta give it to the lightning bow. I'm replaying around like that. And I guess now we just kind of like chill out, bro. Like, you know, what are you doing, like me? Nothing, just hanging around. Literally, like, bro, we love Beetlejuice, bro. Like me, Sivo HD, and uh, Salvatore. We're just watching clips of just Beetlejuice, bro. Like, oh, he's such a gem, bro. Honestly, he actually is. Like, I'm pretty sure, and I don't want to believe it still, right? I refuse to believe it's actually a thing, but I I've heard rumors that, you know, character is, is made up, right? Like, it's put on for an axe, but bro, I refuse to believe it, right? Beetlejuice is my hero. Like, he's actually a king. But like, either way, we managed to get to round 10. Hooker's actually ages, bro, because I spent this, like, time working on this lightning bow. But yeah, that is Black Ops 3 done. Again, let me know if you guys agree that this is the best Black Ops 3 map. I don't personally agree with it. I still think Shadows is better, but you know, it's definitely up there. It's like, it's one of the better maps in this game. So yeah, other than that, we'll move on to our next game is Infinite Warfare Zombies. Right then, boys. So on to Infinite Warfare Zombies. The map that you guys voted for was Zombies in Spaceland with 85% of the votes. This one was pretty obvious that it was going to win. I won't even lie. Like, I didn't even really need to do a poll, but you know, I thought, you know, just to have that statistic in the video, I'll do it anyways. Like, bro, we all know this is the best map in this game, without a doubt. See, I'm so happy I uh, get to, like, play this map because I just love Infinite Warfare Zombies, right? Like, it does have a few L's. Like, there is a few issues, like, performance issues. There's, like, a few. Yeah, the melee isn't great either, but... And you don't get a lot of max ammo. But it's got this charm, right? And it's honestly there yeah, with, like, Treyarch Zombies sometimes. Oh, my God, bro. I'm actually about to die, bro. I'm sitting there, like, complaining in this map. Bro, I'm dead. How'd I die, bro? Never mind, bro. This game sucks, bro. Yo, we're in the Afterlife Arcade. I want to play some arcade games, bro. Yo, watch me pop off here. Watch me pop off. You guys don't know me. Yo, yo we're about to get the max score. Yo, we're about to get max score. Yo, look at that, bro. 100 soul power. I'm actually a professional, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. How'd I die there? Right, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. Yeah, that's right. I'm messing them up. Messing them up. Messing them up. Yo, messing them up. Yo, dude. I'm actually popping off right now. Oh my god, dude. It's actually getting a bit tense, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, dude, how'd I die, bro? That's actually criminal, bro. This is why I love zombies in space, bro. It's such a little goofy map. And it's got like, I don't know, you can just play like little arcade games in here. You know, if you die, you don't even have to like go back straight away. All right, that game's an L, bro. Let's go. Let's do this one. Bro, what is this, bro? Oh, bro, I'm out. I'm out, bro. Yes, bro. I'm taking off. I'm taking off. Yeah, I was taking off. I'm not taking off anymore. How do I do this? I'm out. I'm out. You mess up these little submarines, bro. Oh, well, okay, I died. Okay, you know what? Oh, this boys get like 50 in this little bad boy. And I got one. Oh, this one I'm actually sick at, bro. Watch this. I'm gonna get so many 50s. Oh, watch this. Let me just line them up. Let me line them up, bro. Let me line them up. Yeah, let me line them up, bro. Yo, guys, you guys don't even see this. Guys, you didn't see that. Ready? 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 Here we go. Hold up. Hold up. Look at that, bro. Look at that 50, bro. Once I get the shot, but it's okay, whatever. Right, let's just head back to the actual map. Let's actually go play the game. Also, just like the 80s theme, it's just, oh, bro, it's actually just such a good map. Grab Neil's head here. Looks like the Easter egg for this is actually like super easy. Like, it's not just like overly complicated, but it's still ca like hard as well. It's not like easy. It's just a fun game. Like honestly, it's like actually the most underrated game. All right, I'm going to go towards where the boxes. I want to go this way. Okay, how much is it? 1,250. That's so much, bro. If my five bullets, it's going to take me a while. As I said, the melee in this isn't great. And now I've got to go melee only. So throw a grenade. I bet that'll collapse them. Uh, I might just buy this E-Rad when I have the money. Just so that I like, actually have a weapon. There you go. Let's go ahead and buy this. I forgot about this E-Rad. I've got like a laser version of it. That's another thing in Infinite Warfare, which I think is very hit and miss is the variance of the weapons. I can 100% see why like people can get annoyed at it because obviously some weapons are just like a lot better than others, right? But at the same time, like especially if you play it on PC, I think PC is now an exception because obviously you can kind of mod the game and glitch the game like and not have to worry about getting banned because you know, they, they don't care about this game anymore. Let's be real. So you can kind of just give yourself all the fate and fortune cards and all the variants and stuff like that. Once you do have all the variants, it does like become a lot more of like a fun kind of like fair game in a way. I actually do like really like the variants though. I just wish if they did bring it back, there'd be a way to get them easier. It was like kind of like Black Ops 1 like pack a punching where you'd like, it kind of completely changes the gun. Like this, right? It's just a basic ass like assault rifle or like something like that. It comes with a laser pistol, bro. Like, it's just cool. So I really enjoy it, but maybe that's just me. Alright, let's take some of these teleports back. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get pack a punch for it again. I'm just gonna be playing the map, so. Oh, I just popped that reanimated thing. Alright, well, <laughs> that's a shame. Give Neil back his head. Yo, what's good, my guy? Who's on the move? Let's give it us the most dead challenges, though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, actually, we're making it work. Oh, look, we did it. I know we got infinite ammo, so I can just like, pop off my laser pistol. Hello, guys. Here,
Can we get the um all three reds uh po like coins? Out early on, it's so good because I guess you a toy which is a part of the wonder weapon. Usually it takes a while to get them, but we're going pretty quick there. Get out of here, clowns. <laughs> the thing with infinite warfare, you could tell they were trying to like keep all the like the, the trends and shit like that. Like, yo, killer clowns, bro. Let's put clowns in our game. I do like infinite warfare, like, it doesn't take its tells too seriously. Like in the next map, they've got gorillas that are just like throwing shit at you. Like I don't know. I really enjoyed this game. I didn't enjoy it when it came out though. When it came out, I didn't even like really give it a chance. But going back and playing it, like it's honestly it's up there. It's one of my favorite zombie games. Right, either way, let's go ahead and yeah, turn on this generator here. I guess we'll go ahead and do this teleport as well. I want to be able to buy uh, tough enough, which is basically just B tech uh, jug. There you go. Let me go ahead and cop this. Right, we're on to round eight, boys. We need two more rounds left of space line, then we move on to our next game. That actually makes me so sad because I know what our next game is as well. Oh, dude, this game is just so colorful as well, bro. I, I literally could go on about this game for so long. All right, well, let's take this teleport around here. See you later, alligator. I'm gone. All right, boys, we're going into Polar Peak from up here. Here is the power. Bro, I just thought about something that we need to do before, you know, this map is over. So there's a roller coaster you can take. We're going to go ahead and go on the roller coaster. Oh my God, I actually love this map, bro. Let's go on a roller coaster. It reminds me, there's a ride, right, in um in Universal in Florida called the Men in Black Ride. And this is kind of like something similar. Bro, this game just makes me happy, bro. I can't even lie. Oh my God, I'm kind of sucking some ass at this. So I ain't going to lie. Actually, no, man, I'm, a, I'm a marksman, bro. I never miss my shots. Hey, bro, look at these. I take these guys out. This doesn't really, the hit detection is a bit wonky on them. I won't lie, but I think it's just a gun. I'm throwing out these clowns at me, bro. My chance of my letting them hit me. All right, let's go ahead and get these little geeks. We're currently at 25. All right, we're at 27 now. We're not doing too bad. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. We got 31. That's pretty good. Look how many tickets we got, bro. 151 tickets or 55 tickets, sorry. Bro, easy, bro. There I am, bro. Look at my little geek little character. All right, I guess I'll take this teleport out of here. Get back to spawn, bro. And that is Pack-a-Punch open. So I actually do want to show you guys how good this gun is, right? So I'm going to go ahead and Pack-a-Punch this FHR with a Fate and Fortune card called Coupon Clipper, which basically makes your next purchase free. Here it is, really. FHR 420. It literally becomes like a shotgun, bro. Actually so good, but all right, boys, well, we're on to round nine. All right, this is our last round. We're going to get multi-kills. We need to use my grenades. You know, I need one lot of multi-kills left. And there we go. That's all the challenges complete in the, in the top left. Okay, this gun is so good, bro. I don't even have like double tap or anything. Oh, bro, here we go. So uh, go ahead and speak to Neil here. Neil's out, bro. So he's going to come out with some actual heat. Are you actually ready for this? Where's the king at? Where's he at? Where's the man, the myth, the legend, my actual hero? Oh, here he is. He's coming down. Bro, he's got the hassle off, bro. What's good, my guy? Oh, pop off, bro. Yo, pop off. Oh, go in, King. Yo, look, here he is, bro. Yo, yo, he's going in. Bro, honestly, I couldn't have done that round without you, Hasselhoff. My actual hero. But uh, yeah, all right, that's um round 10, as you can see there. And that is going to be enough of Space Line because otherwise I will actually spend all day on this map. So yeah, I 100% agree that Space Line is the best map in this game. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Oh my God, actually, hold up. We got a brute, bro. I was about to just leave what the, about clapping this little geek. Yeah, that's right. Sit down, bro. So, yeah, sit down, bro. That's right. Honestly, don't even know you, bro. All right, now I can finally move on to our next game, which is World War II Zombies. All right, then, boys. So on to World War II Zombies. Now, map that got voted was the final Reich uh, with 83% of the votes. Uh, I'm not really surprised at this map one, to be honest. Like, a lot of the maps in World War 2 absolutely suck. So, like, I guess even I, like, I technically agree with this. But, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that does not mean that this map is good. Yeah, right. We're gonna speed run to round 10, all right? Like, you've never seen a man go this fast in your entire life. I wouldn't be taking my time, like, Infinite Warfare, all right? I'm, I want off this game as fast as possible because I actually really don't like this game, all right? I know a lot of people say it's, like, very underrated and stuff like that. I just really don't like it. I just think it's boring. Like, it's all, like, there's no. I don't know, I just don't like it. It's just such a boring game. All right, we're going on to round three. Bro, what is this, like, jump scare shit? Like, that, it just sucks, bro. Like, why have I got to get jump scared for? Like, just let me play zombies. All right, well, either way, I'll try and not shit on this game for too long. See if we can take out as many zombies as we can before we... Yeah, I'm just going to grab a snook. You know, one thing interesting that I did find, right, about this game is that apparently there's, like, a little hidden, like, little jump scare, right? Not that one. Not, not that jump scare. But basically, you'll be, like, roaming around the map. There'll be, like, a window. And there'll just be a guy just, like, chilling in it, bro. And you can, like, shoot him. He can sometimes appear in here. I think I watched uh, Mr. Mr. Ruffle Waffles talks to me about that. You know, pretty creepy. Like, what is this little geek looking at? Clearly, don't even know me, but right, let's go ahead and activate that. Get ourselves into the bunker. Let's try to die first. Holy. All right, I'm heading down, boys. So, what are you guys waiting for me for, bro? And then all we've got to do is come up here and activate this big generator. And there we go. So, we're making some plays, boys. We're making some plays. Now, I can come in here. Get rid of this zombie. Like, I actually get lost, little boy. But this bunker is taking like seven years to open. Like, let me in here. It's annoying me, but yeah. All right, we can go ahead and open up the box and we'll see what we can get. Because I need a good gun to get me to round 10. I'm not going to lie. And we get the GBD. Oh, well, it is what it is. I don't even know how good this gun is. <laughs> right, I just want to find this guy now that just like looks in the windows. Like, I, I want to see him. What have I just picked up? I picked up something. You know what? I don't even know. I don't even care. Alright, I think that's wave four complete. So we're going on to round five. Making it out of these ends. Alright, eventually we'll do it. Oh, dude, are you I'm 10 points away from being open to the store. Like, bro, dude. Nothing in this great game goes right for me. I swear to God. What's going on? What, what is going on with this? Alright, whatever. Alright, let me go ahead. Come back in here. And then we need
here's one of them. It's the only map I actually know like how to play. And even then, like I don't even know all the upgrades, like all the wonder weapons, because they're such like boring, like they're awful upgrades actually. They're just so bad. Me and Tyler were like borderline going insane trying to like figure it out. That is a Tyler Tomato, you know, team detective member, part of Can You Beat Every Easter Egg in 24 Hours, you know. Yeah, we tried to learn all like the Easter eggs for this game and it's just like, bro, it's actually grim. I want to be the open up the salt mine. Honestly, I just cannot be asked. Like this map is just like, it's kind of like a quest. Like you have to go through the map and you have to do a bunch of stuff. And it's just like, bro, I just want to be able to play the map my way or the highway, you know, like super annoying, but it is what it is. This is why I don't play this map like at all outside the videos, to be honest. I don't play this game outside the videos. Is this little geek in the window yet? No, he's not there. Surely there'll be someone in the comments who knows what I'm on about. All right, there you go. All right, that's round six done. We're going on to round seven. All right, I guess we'll open up down here anyways. Okay, there's a lot of bombers on these, bro. See you later. Dolphin diving out of these ends. So we just need to activate this little bad boy. And I think it now becomes like a little soul box. There you go. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's done. Just get an actual epilepsy attack real quick. Like, oh, don't mind me. All right, I'm going to get myself another weapon. Give me a gun. Give me a good gun. What am I going to get? The, the GOAT 2, bro. Okay, add this in my two box challenge. I can officially confirm this gun is not the GOAT. It's fucking the brightest thing on my screen, though, bro. Honestly, why have I got this camo on? See, it doesn't look too bad usually when the map isn't, you know, dark as shit. All right, come on, bro. We're on to wave eight as well. All right, we just completed wave seven. Oh my god, are you serious? These little geeks here. Bro, no one likes you as a mini boss, bro. Get lost. Bro, you're actually an L mini boss. Like, oh, wait. This game actually annoys me, bro, so much. Bro, how's he? Oh my god, you know what? I just don't even care, bro. I actually hate this game just so much. All right, just, just move on to the next game, bro. Right, boys, so going on to Black Ops 4, we have nine. Now, 57% of people voted that nine was the best Black Ops 4 map. The thing is, right, is although nine is a very good map, I can't deny it. But I personally think that Dead of the Night is a much better map. And to be honest, I also think Ancient Evil is a better map because nine is a very simple map, but it doesn't have a whole lot going for it outside of just like the layout and just overall the way it plays. The Wonder Weapon is kind of shit, I won't lie, where it's kind of like not the same, like not the case on a Dead of the Night and Ancient Evil. Dead of the Night only really struggles with its kind of layout. It can get kind of confusing, but other than that, I think Dead of the Night is a better map. And Ancient Evil is kind of the same thing. Like the Wonder Weapons are better, just the layout's a little bit confusing. So I can see why people would vote nine. Uh, it's just not really for me. So not to say it's a bad map. Like I actually enjoy a lot of the maps in Black Ops 4, mainly the Chaos Crew, to be honest, which is why I'm like so surprised it stopped making um stuff for the Chaos Crew. But all right, I'm doing the challenges. I want to get the uh, free Pac-Man Stripe. I need to get six kills with equipment. I didn't get these kills. There goes four, there's five, there's six. Too easy, honestly, boys. All right, let's gather up 10 more zombies, get them with our specialist weapon. All right, I don't know. That might be 10. Yeah, there we go. All right, and there is our pack and Strife. So we might as well make a start on all of these challenges. We've got these little gladiators. Look at these little geeks up there. Like, sit down, bro. Like, you've got to go, my guy. And it says one of them done. Let's head over here and start the second one. Got some tigers. Let's get rid of those little geeks. See, this map is, like, super easy. Like, the layout and overall setup for it is just so easy. And it, I think that is kind of refreshing, especially when it comes to BO4, because a lot of the maps do kind of come out very complicated, especially the Easter eggs, bro. They're going to be started on Easter eggs. All right, let me make a move up here. Start of this trial. And I'll also buy Quick Revive while I'm here, you know. Oh, bro, you got to go, dog. Oh, I mean, 2,000 points. Are you serious? We're already on round five, you know. Let's speed in through this. Oh, I didn't mean to pull up my hammer, but, you know, we're whipping it out, boys. All right, let's head over here. And I think we can do our last challenge. Yeah, here it is. I don't know what it's going to be, though. I guess probably just more gladiators, to be honest, yeah. All right, you got to go, my guy. There we go. That is all of the challenges done uh, for us to be able to get back a punch. It's super easy, honestly. Like, so refreshing being able to play a map that's just, like, very straightforward. I spy ourselves some stamina as well, so we can run faster. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and put all of the heads on here. A little bit gruesome. YouTube won't be happy with that. But that should now open up this, and it will give us Pack-A-Punch. Just let it, you know, take its time. Otherwise, take us a long, bro. Let's speed up. Well, there you go. We haven't really got a lot of ammo, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and pop uh, Immolation Liquidation. And honestly, we're just going to go in, boys. See what I can get out of the box. I don't have time step on, which means it's going to go, like, super slow. But so far, I got the RK7 Garrison. Actually, dookie. The M16. Okay, we're not doing any better. The, the Helvian. Uh, what? It's a shitty little, like, sniper. Like, no one even knows of it. There you go. It's our last hit. We're going to get. We've got the Outlaw. Yeah, I'm not even picking that up, bro. I'm going to keep my little plane little AR. This, bro. A little variant is in the shape of a plane. All right, on to round seven, boys. We're slowly getting there. Oh, bro, I actually managed to find the school for the Easter egg. I guess we'll go ahead and pick that up. Not like we can do anything. What? That zombie is actually walking through that. What? Bro, the zombies are actually clipping through that wall, but whatever. All right, you know what? I'm going to pack much this ABR. It's going to be proper good. Look at this. But the bra. Is this going to be round eight? No. I'm going to be round eight. No, that's not round eight either. This isn't issue BO4 has, right? Like, it will just hide the last zombie. Like, where even is he? There he is. That's not Okay, I was going to say, bro. I thought that wasn't him for a second. I was like, bro, I actually how? But that little rat. You're the mouse there. Yo, what's good, my guy? Oh, he's hiding. All right, let's make our way back to the outside. You know, the actual colorful part of the map. And I guess we'll just chill here until we get to round 10. There's not really a whole bunch left to do. I guess I can go hit the box. Sorry, where is it? The tiger shark. Okay. Or L gun, I won't lie. Kind of wanted to see if I can get maybe the wonder weapon out of the box, but I don't think I will. Oh, 
Oh, I did. Okay, literally, as I'm saying that, well, <laughs> we got the death of Orion. See, on its own, this gun is pretty shit. Like, pretty much, that's the way it's meant to be used. Yeah, this is about as fast as you can fire it, like, solo, like, on its own. Unless you do a little simple trick, right, where you spam R, <laughs> it becomes full auto. Bro, I've got this gladiator. He thinks he can try and start the beef. But you know what I've got in my hands right now? Death of Orion. Okay, I didn't have enough ammo in it. I believe, wait, that's round nine. It's our last round, boys. And I can't believe we actually managed to get the wonder weapon, you know? It is a cool looking wonder weapon. It's just a shame it's kind of like shit, to be honest. Oh, and the final round, I think, will be a tiger round, so we can complete our challenge of getting a max ammo. Maybe we can use our Death of Orion again. Yo, we're going in. Oh, and that's it. We got to round 10. Okay, well, that was really anticlimactic. But yeah, that is nine, and that is Black Ops 4. Honestly, it went by super quick. Uh, but yeah, like nine, very good map. I don't know if it's my personal favorite on Black Ops 4, but I'm not going to sit there and say it's a bad map because I felt like it is a really good map. Uh, so yeah, so other than that, let's just go ahead and move on to our next game. Let's just move on to our next game, which is Black Ops Cold War. And then, boys, so on to Cold War, we have Mauer the Toten. This one with 51% of the votes. Now, I don't personally agree with it, to be honest. Like, I think D-Machine is a better map, uh, but that's just me personally. This map is actually quite good, especially for Cold War. Like, after Firebase Z and Outbreak, like, bro, getting Mauer the Toten was like an actual molesting, bro. Uh, I'm going to speed through these last two games because, to be honest, these are like the most dead games in the world. So we're going to rampage and do our way to round 10, pretty much. Try and make our way down or something and no turn on the power. But this room is so empty. Like, I, I don't know why. It just feels so, like, dead. Like, a weird room to have. To be fair, D-Machine came in close with 39% of the votes. Now with the Toten, it does have a really cool wonder weapon. I think that the only thing I've got an issue with is one, is how unoptimized the game is. Like, D-Machine runs really well for some reason, and, like, Mao the Toten just doesn't. So that's just maybe a me thing, to be fair. Like, if you're playing on console, you won't ever notice it. But yeah, also, like, just Mao is such a, like, a dark map. I don't know. Other than the wonder weapon, I just prefer D-Machine, to be honest. Now that you can actually pack up and just the, uh, the die wonder weapon in D-Machine, like, just makes me like it more, to be honest. So, now, well, either way, let's make our way down here. Where is this Tempest at? There should be one around here that I can kill. There he is. Should be a little geek. Can't be the go, bro. Right, there we go. Let's go ahead and pick up the fuse. Oh my god, there's so many zombies, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, sprinting for me, bro. Yo, zombies, you gotta back up, bro. Straight up. All right, let's start making our way down. Gotta kill this last zombie. Where's he going off to? I really want it to be extra like that, but okay. All right, round four, bro. We're making it. Oh my god, the train's coming. The train's coming, bro. Oh my god, bro. Honestly, having the rampage used to make Cold War just so much more fun, to be honest. All right, round five. We're already halfway through it. The doors on this cost so much, bro. Also, I should have gone into this with, like, oh my god, not the PM63 over its coolness game. The Amp 63. I messed up doing that. I ain't gonna lie. Because this armor, I need that. All right, I think if we just open this door, there'll be Tempest down here. Where's he at? There he is. Yo, geek, bro. Where have you to go? What am I getting hit by? Yo, back off. Oh, I actually had to clap me, but yeah, either way, that'll now be the power on. We did it, boys. Okay, now I just gotta try and get out of here without dying, which is uh, easier said than done. I won't lie, bro. I'm hopping over these zombies' heads, bro. Call me Mario. Yahooing all over the place, bro. They don't even know me. All right, I'm out here, bro. Heading up. Because here is where the package you got like fight these old geeks. That was good, boys. Oh, okay, so here come all the zombies. Holy, bro. Oh, pop up this, bro. Pop this. Basically, pops an undead man walking. I can just focus on this disciple. He's getting collapsed, bro. You don't even know me. Is it sucking my life or something? Like, bro, that's a bit gay. All right, well, let's go ahead and pack up this bad boy. Oh, there you go. That's pretty much the whole setup for uh, Mawa the Totem. Really, like, straightforward. I ain't gonna lie, but let's dig up these origins, dig spawns. I'm a little bad boy like that, to be honest. You know, I'll, I'll do what I want. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I need this microwave dish you can get. Let me make my way through here. No, there's a way to get a free uh, Serbia Cerberus Wonder Weapon. That's what it's called. Uh, honestly, I don't know how to do it. Never a play. Uh, I usually have the two, like, smartest Cold War players, you know, everything in the world, that being Grim and Aruni. They just know how to do it at all, bro. I don't even know how they know it. Oh my god, am I actually gonna die? Oh my god, I actually died. All right, you know what? Whatever. It's round eight. I don't care. <laughs> We're in the last half of this video, anyway. So right, let's just go ahead and move on to our last game, which is Vanguard. And right, then, boys, and on to our final game, we have Vanguard, right? And the map that you guys chose was Shinonuma. Shockingly, I mean, who's really surprised that Shinonuma was gonna win this? Let me just double check on how many votes it got, what percentage of votes it got. It got 90% of the votes. I'm pretty sure that the other 10 were probably just trolls. So we're gonna go ahead and do a cheeky little Easter egg, all right? Come a little bad boy like that. Pretty much, if you shoot these lanterns in this specific order, this will appear right here. And this is pretty much the rampage inducer. So uh, apparently it's on. Wish I was able to see that, but it's whatever. But yeah, now the zombies are also like sprinting. Uh, they're not gonna be as slow. To be honest, I don't know why I've not been doing it uh, up until this point because it would just literally make my life like 10 times easier. So yeah, but we're already on round three. We're actually speed running, bro. But you know what? If there was a few tweaks, right? My God, I'm gonna die, bro. Go back off, bro. But yeah, if there was like a few little tweaks to, I think just in general, Vanguard Zombies, like this remaster isn't as bad as, as people make it out to be, all right? Like that's what I'm saying, bro. If there was a few tweaks to it and the perk system wasn't like completely changed and the Wonder Wolf wasn't dog shit in this, but if those were fixed, like this wouldn't actually be that bad. Like the Modern Warfare engine, because this is pretty much the Modern Warfare 2019 engine, it actually works all right for zombies. Like I think I prefer this over Cold War, but that's just me personally. So like, I don't think this remaster is actually as bad as people like make it out to be. It's definitely the one thing that I guess would make you want to buy Vanguard. At the same time, like in general, you probably just shouldn't waste your money on Vanguard because every map in
in Vanguard is just worse than like an, a normal BO3 like workshop app. So literally just get BO3 and be on your way to be honest. Like, oh my god, I just got domed, bro. This is actually not easy with the Rampage and Dusa, but my god, game, let me run, bro. Why you gotta spend all this time reloading, bro? What did I even die to? Bro, that's actually crazy that I died to that, bro. Never mind, bro. This game is actually shit, bro. Right, but you honestly, there's Vanguard. I'm not gonna sit there and spend all time on it because this video is probably already long enough as it is. So yeah, I mean, if you guys did enjoy the video, uh, leave a like. Uh, if you guys don't mind subscribing to the channel, I'm trying to hit 20k by the end of the month. We're getting really close to the end of the month now, uh, and we're still about 600 subs away. So if you guys can please drop a sub on the channel and help me get to 20k by the end of the month, I'd really appreciate that. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.